I'm really on that. You don't know who I am? Google me, nigga. I'll beat you up, bro. Stop yeah, playing me. Up. What? I'll, I'll scap you right now. What? Nah, 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 all right guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we got to talk about a YouTube prank that completely went wrong. In this picture right here, you see the two culprits on the left and the two victims on the right. Now this article describes the young man in red as the YouTuber, but he's actually an aspiring rapper. The YouTuber and the one with the YouTube channel is the guy in blue. And the guy in red, Nas EBK, seemed to get really mad when these two random people that they don't even know didn't know or recognize who he was based on his face. For those who don't know, EBK stands for Everybody Killer. This is something I've been seeing for a long time. You know, kids in high school used to put this in their names, the gangbangers and the kids who thought they were tough. Now, before I show you guys this video, because it's only about 50 seconds long, I want to show you where this comes from. Now, you may or may not have seen a guy by the name of... Um, Canel Joseph, I think he's the one who started this, or if not the one who started it, he's one of the people whose videos blew up the most from um, attempting to steal people's luggage or pranking, stealing people's luggage at the airport because he actually ended up getting into a scuffle or a fight with, with an older white man over this, you know, ridiculous, incredibly stupid prank. So real quick, let's take a look at this. Hey, that's fine. Huh? That's mine. Are you sure? I'm positive. It looks like my bag, man. Okay. You got your phone in it? I had underwear in it. Sir, let me need you to grab my bag. He stole my underwear. Oh, who's looking for that? It's mine. How do I know that? You don't have to know that. I told you. So you're still in my bag? No. It's what got what my is it? name on it right there. It doesn't have a name. Okay, well anyway, it's mine. Am I gonna have to call the cops? If you want to. So you're just gonna steal my bag like that? I'm not stealing none of your shit. Don't accuse me of stealing something that I brought from my house. Well, can I just check inside? No, just, you can't. That sounds like something somebody would still would say. Get the fuck away from me. I'm not gonna ask you again. I'm gonna go call the cops, tell them to harass me. You can't do that. I'm a black brother. So am I. I'm a black man too. I can throw a discount, like a Black Lives Matter discount. I don't give a Get away from me. He gonna accuse me of stealing my own bag. And now he wanna play games. I don't play games. This is not you Monopoly. Move on, man. Well, that's his bag. Well, how do you know that? You just came over here. All right, guys. Now, like I said, I'm not 100% sure that he's the one that started this, but definitely one of the prominent figures in this attempting to steal people's luggage at the airport prank. Now, I've seen some pranks on the internet that can be amusing, but at the end of the day, when pranking random people you don't know, you're playing a stupid game. And especially at the airport, because the airport can be a very stressful place for a lot of people. You know, people running late for flights, people got to get their bags, all type of, you know, variables that you can't account for going on. You don't mess with people's luggage at an airport. That's just, that's just not something you do. And this is all in the name of getting clicks and getting likes and, you know, becoming YouTube famous and becoming viral. But at least with this guy here, he didn't really seem to be too hostile or threatening people with actual physical violence. But this case here was a completely different story. Now, let's take a look. Isn't that the same bag you bought last week? No, How we get on the plane? We can't find our bags. bags? Yeah, this ain't our bags. Bro, you that's sure? his bag, right? He bought, what did my mother, you bought that same bag, bro? <laughs> <laughs> bro, this not even about no video. Like, bro, my mother, can we just get our bag? <laughs> we can't get it. I can just get. I can just get the. Why are you walking away with my, my bag, bro? Touch my bag. Bro, relax, bro. Relax, bro. You're relax, doing bro. Bro. You're joking. It's a joke. You're <laughs> doing it. What? Like, I'm really on that. You don't know who I am? Google me, nigga. I'll beat you up, bro. Stop playing me. What? I'll scap you right now. What? Nah, how you feeling? What? Nah, 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 Approach you in the wrong way is a joke. I'll slap your face right now. Yeah, what? Yeah, yeah, Look, yeah, yeah, yeah. what you want to do? I Stop playing with me. Oh, I'll cut your face <laughs> open, nigga. Yo, Fuck you, I'm not gonna lie, yo, nah, it's Fuck you too. So, like I said, this a completely different story. It's almost like the telephone game. It started. The story started off one way, but now as you know, more people are starting to do this. You know, it's falling into the wrong hands. The guy with his girlfriend is just protecting his girl, protecting his luggage. He didn't do anything a normal stand-up guy wouldn't do, in my opinion. If I see two guys that I don't know pressing me and my girlfriend about bags that are definitely and clearly ours, and then one starts to take a step towards my girlfriend, hey, you gotta, you know, you gotta 
get in between that. You know, what kind of man are you if you don't? But the guy in red, Nas EBK, has the nerve to tell this dude, yo, relax, chill, it's just a prank, it's just a prank. You got to understand that when you do stuff like this, it could have a negative effect. You know, you see people who do pranks all the time getting chased in the park and, you know, whatever. When you're dealing with people you don't know, a, a real-life situation like this, it could go any type of way. But while most pranksters, once the situation elevates, they remove themselves or they run away, this guy chose to get confrontational and then has the nerve to say, you don't know who I am? No, he doesn't know who you are. I didn't know who this guy was until I did a little bit of research on him. I don't know. In my opinion, you have to be a complete idiot or just totally unaware of the situation to get angry when someone doesn't want to let you steal their luggage. How else is a man supposed to act in a situation like this, especially with his woman? In my opinion, if you want to be a rapper, maybe just stick to rapping. You know, um, the, the prank space isn't for people who have short tempers. Because this dude could either lose his life messing with the wrong person or he could end up taking somebody's life or, you know, causing harm to somebody else because of his temperament. He's not able to rationalize that he's the one doing the prank. So if somebody that he's pranking has an adverse reaction to him as the prankster, he's supposed to go, yo, yo, my bad, my bad, it's just a prank, you know, don't hurt me, whatever. You know, you, you aren't supposed to get confrontational when you're the one causing the confrontation in the first place. It just doesn't make any sense. This prank space, although it does provide some entertainment for people, I think it's pretty stupid. And if you don't got the discipline to understand that when you're in the wrong, you got to back off, then this space isn't for you. You know, he can do his rapping thing. You know, you could be as emotional and as loud and as confrontational as you want to be in your music because you're not bothering nobody. But when you're doing something like this, man, messing with people while they're at the airport going about their day, it's not a good look, man. It's definitely not a good look. But let me know what you thought about this in the comments down below. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. We are at the door. Until next time, you guys, I'm out of here. Peace.